here we are again. I'm on the road today, or about to be on the road today, to find some rubbish. But this time, it's not rubbish. It's rubbish made into art. Some people say my art is rubbish, but this is rubbish made into art. Judith Price, Price's biannual. And uh, I feature in it with a little painting, and so does Scott Levi. So we're going to try and find Scotty's painting today at Rubbish, Rubbish, Rubbish. Or, more rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Hope we can find it. Well, we've arrived at the Gosford Regional Gallery here in Webb Street, and I'm about to find out how people turn rubbish into art. Should be good. <laughs> I'm here with Judith Price, who's the curator, designer and artist in More Rubbish, Rubbish, Rubbish. Can you give us a bit of a rundown on what you've got here today? Yes, I can, Yani. Um, as you come in, on this wall is mm. the Collaborative Art Project, mm -hmm. which is um, about a month or two before my exhibition. I send out a little kit yeah. and it's got a blank canvas. Yeah. and a piece of rubbish and people have to uh, respond with the rubbish mm. into an artwork and I present it with my exhibition. Yeah. So um, as you come in, this section is family relationships. Family relationships? Yes. So I sent So you are saying family relationships are rubbish? No. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Some. That's naughty. I'm sorry. It is very naughty. I you behave. Have said that. Now, so here is, um, I sent two canvases and two similar pieces of rubbish mm -hmm. to each family and they had to negotiate a parent and a child yeah. to do the artwork and I'm presenting them together. So for instance here, this family I gave coffee cup lids to yeah. and the boy made a very conceptual um, artwork mm -hmm. and the mother cut hers up and made a more literal one mm. and that may or may not mean anything yeah I find that interesting I'm actually on the hunt today for Scott Levi's famous oh. painting we won't you rush know, to it because it might go to his head well it might and the other thing is um, it's it's there's like this huge queue waiting for I, I waiting know. for Scott Le to see Scott Levi's I, I know. Scotty you know you've finally beat me we had to turn them away Yanni. they <laughs> they're all they've just Wanting to look at Scott's work. Fantastic. Yes. And he called his the blue billed plastipus. That's right. What a creative bugger. He's very creative. And you know what? He's, he has really improved his technique has since last time. Yes, he has. He, um, See that, Scott? You've improved. Good you man. You have. And, yeah. and, and a I good actually, mentor. I told you that you'd improved. <laughs> yeah. And next time you'll be just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is every two years, isn't it? Well, it, it's worked out every two years, and I'm assuming that that will be how it goes. Mm. Mm. If I could do it full time, mm. um, could be every year. So you invite artists to play with you to do the, the show? Well, of course, yeah. and and in the collaborative artwork besides Scott's. Besides Scott's. This yes. is the centerpiece. Mm. Look at this. Now the artist got a different shaped canvas. Yeah. And they got an individual piece of rubbish that I felt um, pertain to their practice. Mm -hmm. So for instance, um, local Avoca artist Felicity O'Connor, yep. she does a lot of abstract work mm -hmm. and she uses quite a lot of orange. Yep. So what I gave her was um, a piece of orange plastic. Oh, I see. Yep. And so then this is how she responded. She cut it up 
oh. made it into her um, her little artwork there. Th this one, my sister Tracy, yeah, also an artist. She does a lot of trees and leaves yeah. and things like that. And I had found this. Um, fabric leaf on the beach. Oh, I don't know why, but I did. So what she's done is she's cut it and made the leaf part of the tree. That's fantastic. And I know. And it's got to get to me again. Huh? The the one that has created um, a lot of interest, mm -hmm. and I'm not just saying this, Yani, because mm. you're holding that camera. Um, <laughs> is of course this one. Ah. The rubbish devil. I know. I that think guy. you could probably talk about this one, seeing as you're the artist. Mm. Mm. Okay. This one is about uh, some of the greatest protagonists in the rubbish yes, arena. Absolutely. And they're the fast food and soft drink people. Mm. So if you look at our little friend here, he's made up of, of lots and lots of little bits of pieces of McDonald's, KFC, Coca-Cola, all those. I've just pinched little bits and put it together with this amazing thing that Judith sent me, that, to make the rubbish devil. So it's having a go at all those fast food yeah. throwaway people. Did you like it when you opened yours and saw that little um, headband uh, with the little red devil ears? Yeah, I wore it a couple of nights. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah. My I'm fiance impressed. thought it was cute, but <laughs> said, come oh, on, make better, some It's better on this. Yeah, no, it's actually, um, I was kind of like, what the hell am I going to do with this? And um, and then oh, I, I think, think it's the, great. the weekend you were hanging the show, yes. you reminded me. That's right. <laughs> And then I, I you got it of, in. You got it in just in time. I looked at the thing and I thought, rubbish, devils of rubbish. I know what I'm going to do. So then, brilliant. I did that. And that's enough about me. Oh no, we can keep talking about you. What about all these ones? Well, oh. now, um, since my last exhibition, I've uh, been privileged to meet a lot of people that um, work with, within various environmental groups. Yep. So it's env environmentalists either part of a group or people that I feel are carers of the earth. Mm. And as we all know, our lovely Scott Levi. Yes. Carer of the earth. Yeah, he loves And so you probably wanted to introduce this a, a little bit more. Mm. But this is his Blue Bill, Blue Bill Plastic Plasticus. Fantastic name. It Fantastic. is. Well, they all were given a blue bottle top. Plastic in plankton. Yes. What's this little one? Well, this one's interesting, actually, because what um, what Paula has done, she works for Waste Management in Sydney, mm -hmm. um, she's actually taken it to a very positive angle, yeah. mm. where she's cut up the, the bottle top and she's look, looked at all these different things that you could make out of plastic. Yeah. This guy's cute. Well, that's great, isn't Some it? plastics break, will not break down. Mm. Mm. Some of them are a little Very bit sad. Very poignant. Yes. What is that? Well, all right. Well, I better leave you to manage your show. Thank you, Yann. Thank you for showing us around. That's all right. And we'll, thank you for all your support. We'll be back for the next one. Absolutely. I hope so. I'll just take some pictures. Thank you very much, Yann. Thank you, Judith. Okay.